Today we're going to be looking at a practice drill called the open table. So in this drill the, the balls are laid out in this grid formation with the colours alternating. And then in this example I'm putting all of the red balls first, then all of the yellows and then the black last. You could do this drill where you put all the balls in any order if you liked. Um, maybe do that one first and then when you find that a little bit too easy you can move on to this variation which is a little bit harder. Um, and it's all about cue ball control and planning your way around the table. So you know, the balls are all fairly easy to pop, but you need to work out the next shot in each instance and control that cue ball to make sure you're in exactly the right place for the next shot. Obviously, it's a little bit harder at the start as well when you're taking all the reds first because you've got the yellows in the way, so you've got to plan your, your route around and making sure you've still got a shot on the next ball. Once you've potted all the reds and the yellows are in the open, it's a little bit easier. So that first stage is, is probably the hardest part of the drill. You could um, also, if you, if you find this a little bit easier, you could set yourself some other conditions. You could, you could say that you're not allowed to hit any other ball. You could um, try it where you're not allowed the cue ball to hit the cushion or you could try it where the cue ball has to hit the cushion. You know, set yourself some, some extra conditions if you're finding the drill a little bit too easy. This drill is basically the same as before, it's just a slightly different layout of the balls. Um, I think I found this template online somewhere when I was looking for practice drills myself. Just one that I particularly like doing. And the same as before, it's all about controlling the cue ball. And again, I'm taking all of the yellows first, and then all of the reds, and then putting the black last. Just um, a slightly different formation, as I said, so just mixing things up a little bit. Um, I know before anyone says that I've put my cue on the table, which you obviously wouldn't do in a game, but I'm a little bit short of space in here, so uh, I have to break down the cue on a few occasions to be able to get to the shot. You um, can see there that I've used the red to stop the white ball just to get position. You could do this where you um, don't allow yourself to run into another ball. Um, depending, you can set conditions as, as with the other drill to make this harder or easier it's up to you. Just need to make sure here that we get across for the red back to the middle to give us a decent position on the rest of the balls.
Thank you.